The leader of Iran's Islamic Revolution, Ayatollah Said Ali Khamenei, says the Islamic awakening in the region is rooted in the Iranian nation's determination. Ayatollah Khamenei described pressures imposed on the Islamic Revolution over the past three decades as part of efforts to prevent its spread in the region. He also referred to the revolution in Egypt and said the humiliation caused by Egyptian government's servitude to Israel and the U.S. had been the driving force behind the popular movement. He also said the United States is attempting to derail the Egyptian popular movement by convincing the Egyptians that some minor accomplishments have been enough. He says such ploys to deceive an awakened nation are unlikely to yield any results. President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad says the era for deceit and glove puppet regimes is over. با سوار شدن بر موج حرکت های مردمی اینا را جابجا جا کنید و سیستم را و اساس را و وابستگی به خودتون را حفظ کنید اون دوره گذشته است Addressing a crowd of people in Iran's southwestern city of Boucher, Ahmadinejad said there is massive pent-up energy against satanic forces in the region. He said the recent revolutions in the Middle East have all been against dictators who had abandoned their nations. Ahmadinejad says the more cruel such dictators, the more U.S. support they have received. He says the people have awakened, though, and this cannot go on. Ahmadinejad has referred to Iran's peaceful nuclear energy program and warned the West against dragging out the P5 plus one talks. He says these countries should know that they cannot stop Iran's progress. The president said Tehran supports justice and law but won't back down from its rights. Secretary General of Lebanon's resistance movement, Hezbollah, says the U.S. and Israel are the biggest losers of recent developments in the Middle East region. Said Hassan Nasrallah says the revolution in Egypt has mostly affected the U.S. and Israeli interests and that their influence in the region is declining. Hailing the popular uprising in Egypt, Nasrallah said it was the will of the Egyptian youth that toppled the pro-Western regime of Hosni Mubarak. The Hezbollah Secretary General reiterated that resistance movements in the region are a natural reaction of people to the West's hegemony. Which we are proud of being part of, and we were and remain to be part of it. These resistance movements are a natural response, a natural reaction. They were and remain a natural reaction from the people of the region to the aggressions and the occupation and the projects of hegemony and control.